Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This was supposed to be a live stream, but you know, technical issues and then some other stuff. And then I wanted to do it on a Monday and I forgot that I was doing uh, Omni Bros Live, so I couldn't uh, live stream. So instead you're getting the uh, recorded version. Apologies about that. But regardless, we're here to talk about some anime because I like anime, I watch a ton of series, and I wanted to do sort of uh, uh, my guide, my personal guide, of the 2019 summer anime uh, season. I did one, uh, well not technically at the start, but I did one for spring. There will be a part two because a lot of those shows that I talked about ended or are in the process of ending as of this video. So once a good chunk of them end, I will do uh, my review on all those shows. Just quick uh, bits of info on all those series about, um, about the anime and all that stuff, whether I liked it or disliked it uh, and such. But yeah, the summer 2019 season is uh, it's almost here in a couple more uh, days. It's going to be pretty awesome. If you want to keep track of what uh, shows are coming out, I do suggest the live chart. And I put a link in the description where you can keep track of that. They tell you uh, where you can stream it, uh, where what the series is about, and when the next episode is airing because each one has a cool little uh, time um frame time clock whatever <laughs> it has a clock and it tells you when the next episode is due so yeah um summer 2019 and if i'm not looking it's because i'm reading off my uh, computer here ufo tables adaptation of demon slayer is hitting on all cylinders it is fantastic it is wonderful it is really freaking amazing the usage of cgi on that thing or cg is uh, really well done. It's placed in the right areas and the characters are awesome. I haven't read, uh, I did, I am in the process of acquiring some of the books so I can read it, but um, uh, for the most part, from what I've heard of other people uh, talking about it, it is a pretty faithful adaptation and the characters are pretty damn well. I know some people aren't too fond of the series, but they do like or too fond of the um, manga, I should say, but they do like uh, the anime and the things it does. So, yeah, uh, Demon Slayer, by all means, uh, is the winner for the spring season, and it continues to be a killer show for the summer, so I do recommend it. All right, next up, uh, Dungeon... De Look, the <laughs> they're in Japanese. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna bother with that. Is it wrong to pick up Girls at a Dungeon Season 2? Is what I wanted to read. Uh, it's the new season following uh, Belle and Hestia on a new adventure beginning the events covered in the sixth light novel volume. Um, it, this, that series uh, for me was middle of the road. I, I didn't like it, nor did I hate it. I just, uh, there are better stuff out there for me, for my taste. I, I didn't think it was uh, all that great, but still, if you like it, more power to you, and, and there's a new season to enjoy. I will probably check it out, because, yeah, there were parts, especially the art, uh, of the first season that I really uh, dug. It was just it was just an okay series, but still, I'll probably keep up with it and, and see what happens in season two. Ari Fureta Shokugyu de Sekai Sakyo. See, that's why I don't read the Japanese, because I don't know how to pronounce things. Um, the title on this one is... Ari Fureta From Commonplace to World Strongest. That one is set to start uh, brand new. It's about a 17-year-old Hajime Nagumo, an average everyday otaku. However, his simple life of pulling all-nighters and sleeping in uh, school is sudden turned upside down when he among the rest of his world is some oh, okay um, it's another isekai fantastic uh, I have nothing against isekai I've loved the genre uh, some of my favorite anime of recent memory are isekai but uh, yeah I mean it's it comes to a point where you're just repeating yourself 
time and time again. However, in this one, apparently the whole class gets transported, which is fine. If, if you're going to go to another dimension, another world, um, it, it, it would suck if you'd be there by yourself. It'd be pre uh, it would be pretty cool if you had your friends with you, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, so I, I know nothing about that, but I'll probably check it out and do some first impressions. So we'll see. Dr. Stone from TMS Entertainment. It's some good stuff, man. I love the manga. I reviewed the first volume on my channel. Um, and, and it's great. Basically, the world has suffered a calamity when everybody's turned to stone. And then many, many years later, the, uh, the main protagonist and everybody else, they start awakening and they start um, uh, the resurgence, I guess, of the human species and kickstarting everything back up. And science plays a huge part of the process it's it's really cool it's pretty unique and the designs the character work that is going in here uh drawing uh you know taking inspiration from the original manga from uh, boichi really good stuff i cannot recommend it enough dr stone is a blast all right uh next one here we go uh isekai cheat magician uh, basically, Nishimura Taichi and his friend uh, Rin are transported into a fantasy world. While in their previous world, Taichi is a normal person who just has higher than average reflexes. Both he and Rin gain high levels of physical and magical ability and uh, begin their new life as magicians. I mean, by the looks of it, it just screams SAO uh, ripoff. Uh, hopefully it's good and hopefully if you're interested and you watch it, it it's great and you like it so more power to you I, I i don't know if i'll watch it i probably will who am i kidding oh yeah david production is doing fire force i'd love it i also did a review on the first volume if you want to check it out fire force is awesome really unique anime about fire or, or manga about um firefighters fighting instantaneous human combustion and there's demons involved and a lot of cool stuff and, and yeah it's pretty unique and david production outdid themselves in my opinion from what we've seen of the previews it looks amazing and the characters look really awesome like they literally stepped out of the manga and into uh your tv screen i, I think it's gonna look stunning uh, next up, oh, uh, Vinland Saga from Wit Studio. Okay, first of all, Wit Studio uh, can do no wrong. They, they, they kill it with Attack on Titan. And Vinland Saga, uh, all my buddies, my, uh, my friends that are into anime and manga, mostly manga, they always recommend certain type of books or certain books. And one of them is always... Vinland Saga and how great it is. It is one of the best manga ever uh, in, in everybody's list. I haven't personally uh, read it because I I was going to, but uh, they announced the anime, so now I'm like, you know, I'm more of an anime guy. I, I, I like watching the shows. I don't collect as much manga as I do uh, graphic novels and stuff. So I will be checking out the adaptation instead. But again, Wit Studio, uh, I, you're going to get top-notch quality with the production design and the musicality and just everything about that thing is going to be superb. Basically, uh, it's a Viking manga with revenge and action and intrigue and all that fun stuff. So uh, yeah, uh, Vinland Saga is going to be the, the, the hit that everybody's going to be talking about, hopefully. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a it's a little bit weird from JC staff. Let me uh, pull up the name uh, Do you love your mom and her two hit multi-target attacks? I mean God bless them for making up all these weird titles Jesus uh, basically uh, Masato thought he was part of a uh, random survey, but when he gets involved in a secret government scheme he winds up trapped in the game world even more surprising his mother's there too so basically it's another isekai but instead uh the main character gets thrown into this world with his mom and uh i hopefully it's funny i want to laugh I, hopefully it's funny and not too uh weird or fan servicey because it can lend itself to that area of the internet if you know what i mean 
But um, yeah, I really do hope it's 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 funny because the title and the premise is just really uh, freaking absurd in my opinion. Hensuki, are you willing to fall in love with a pervert as long as she's a cutie? Sure. Okay. Taka uh, Takagi-san, The Master of Teasing 2. I haven't watched the first one, so I can't really comment on it, but I do know it has it has a following, so it, it should be pretty interesting to see uh, how uh, Season 2 fares. Osama Retry. Um, I don't know what this is about, but it is an action-adventure series, and uh, I think I did see a, 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 um, a teaser for it. Akira is a regular guy who works at a company that manages an online game. He often plays the game as his character Dark Lord, but one day he, when he logs on, is this another isekai? Uh, he is whisked into a game's fantasy world as his character. There he meets a one leg. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen this. Uh, there he meets a one-legged girl and begins his adventures alongside her. But as he is a powerful Dark Lord, various nations and holy maidens journey to defeat him and he stirs up trouble everywhere he goes. That actually doesn't sound too bad aside from the whole um, other world stuff. I, I, I kinda wanna check that out. A Certain Scientific Accelerator. That's in the Index and Railgun universe. So it's season, it would be the third series. So if you haven't watched the other ones, don't go in blind because you're gonna be lost. You gotta watch that other stuff first. But it's JC staff, I'm a huge fan of them, and I can't wait. I love the uh, Railgun and, and Index universe. Oh, this is a popular, uh, I think it was a light novel first, and then it became a manga or an anime. Uh, uh, if it's for my daughter, I'd even defeat a demon lord. Yeah, Dale is a cool, composed, and highly skilled adventurer who's made quite a name for himself despite his youth. One day on a job deep in the forest, he comes across a little devil girl who's almost wasted away. Unable to just leave her to die, Dale takes her home and becomes her adoptive father. Devil or not, Latina is... Latina? Okay. Latina is beyond adorable, and the adventurer soon finds himself head over heels with being a parent. But why was she out in the forest to begin with? Why does she carry the mark of a criminal? Dun dun dun. Yeah. Uh, I do know I've seen some uh, forums and stuff and people are uh, excited about that one too this next one uh, has the potential to be a borderline uh, lame trashy to wholesome fun and um, in in between is etchy goodness it is how heavy are the dumbbells you lift look I'll be honest with you I know it's fan servicey because it's about girls and they're trying to get fit and and it's it can go in, into the if it can go into the wholesome territory and motivate viewers to do exercise uh, exercises and get fit and stay healthy that's a win right there regardless of the etchy regardless of the fan service if it can do that I'm all on board and I approve of that so I'm very uh, interested in finding out if they do that or if it's just going to be a comedy series and you know nothing to uh nothing to write home about like they say magical senpai uh it's one of those weird kind of lewd ish um uh, a, a series about a girl that does uh magic but she's terrible at it uh she has a failure rate of 100 percent so uh, it's more comedy based and who doesn't love a good comedy right lord l meloy the second's case files if you're a fan of the fate series specifically uh, fate zero and uh, i don't know if it links up but uh unlimited blade works then go ahead and check that series out watch those series first and then come back to this one. Runs Within, um, Akatsuki Iride is a popular live streamer for the free-to-play game The Ones Within Genome, but that, but uh, what was once fantasy quickly becomes his and seven others reality when they're transported to the game world against their will. View count matters than ever before as millions watch them try to complete. Okay, so basically it's an isekai mixed with Twitch. They get sucked into another world and people are watching them survive. Okay. By the way, don't take um, 
if I'm mocking a premise, don't 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 get upset. <laughs> it might be good. It's just you know I'm just uh, going off the descriptions. I don't know yet, as of this video. Uh, are you lost? This actually looks pretty interesting. It, it survivors on a deserted island. A couple girls get stranded or something, and they're going to do everything imaginable to survive. I guess it, I I think it has a bit of comedy in it. I'm not too sure. You might have to correct me on that one. Astronaut Lost in Space. This is, um, I think I saw a teaser of this and it looked pretty interesting. Year is 2061. Space travel is now possible and commercially viable and the students of Caird High School embark on their planet camp. Uh, something happens and uh, Light Sphere warps its nine members into outer space. Stranding them 5,012 light years away from their home planet. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to see this darkness of space so that all of them can survive. Yeah, I'm on board. Uh, if it's a survival story, and especially if it's in space, I'm going to check it out. Beam. B-E-M. Right? Beam. Three monsters. Beam, who looks like a gangster uh beto who looks like a boy and beta a witch act as agents of justice hoping that they will be allowed to become human uh, okay cool cop craft 15 years ago an unknown hyperspace gate opened over the pacific beyond this gate lies reto semani a strange alternate world where fairies and demons lives uh, this looks pretty interesting too i might uh check this out as well to the Abandoned Sacred Beast, uh, it is a pretty recent famous uh, manga that a lot of people here on YouTube are reviewing and it's sort of like an alternate version of the uh, Civil War in uh, here in America, but instead like they uh, capture monsters and they use monsters to fight or something like that, um, something about uh, what is it? Uh, incarnates. Uh, because of economical disputes, the country split north and south, creating the Northern Union of Patria and the Southern Confederation of Patria, and they waged a long civil war. It's, uh, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be checking that out as well. Oh, Maidens in Your Savage Season. That's a badass title. I don't know what this is, but it's about the girls in a high school uh, literature club do a little icebreaker to get to know each other, answering the question, what's one thing you want to do before you die? One of the girls blurts out, sex. Am I gonna get demonetized by reading this? Little do they know the world when unleashed by that word pushes each of these girls with different backgrounds and personalities onto their own clumsy, funny, painful, and emotional paths towards adulthood. If it's well written and, and funny, I might check it out. But otherwise, it's a, probably gonna be a skip. I don't know. Wasteful days of high school girl. Uh, one day out of boredom, Tanaka decides to give her classmate nicknames based on their quirks. Is this a My Hero Academia thing? I'm kidding, I know it's not. Uh, her friend Sakuichi became Ota for her nerdy interest and her other friend Saginomiya, Saginomiya became a robo because of her expressionless personality. Uh, yeah, it's another comedy bit. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's sort of an overview. Again, I, I put the link in the description where you can check out the rest of the anime that are premiering but out of all of that out of those series the top five i recommend watching for summer 2019 demon slayer if it counts although it premiered earlier but it's a must watch in my opinion demon slayer but if we're going to exclude that and just brand new series then dr stone fire force vinland saga dumbbell because i want to laugh and and get motivated to get fit hopefully it does that if not then boo bombs two-pronged attack so those are my picks for what i think are going to be like the hits or what i suggest people watch for the summer 2019 anime season i don't know they could all suck or they could all be great regardless watch the series look forward to my conclusion for the spring season and all the shows i started watching on that as always, guys, thank you uh, for uh, supporting this channel. I couldn't do any of this without your support. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and just being a part 
of a week in geekdom. Uh, thank you so much. I will be doing more uh, book reviews for uh, comics and manga and reviewing series and all that stuff uh, as, as you know, uh, eventually. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, uh, that's it. I I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode. Thank you.